Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, so today I'm going to go ahead and show you guys another theme tutorial and this theme is going to be called Mac OS X Mountain Lion. This theme is based off of the Mac OS X operating system that you guys are very familiar with. For those that had Mac OS X and went to Windows, Windows 7 specifically, and want to go ahead and get that feeling back of that interface, I have just a thing. What I'm going to do in uh, one of two parts is I'm going to go over the whole theme just to go ahead and show you guys what it's all about. And the second part is I'm going to go ahead and show you guys some troubling uh, things that I fixed. Uh, there's like about 18 advisements that I'll go ahead and show you and uh, walk you through. Another would be to go ahead and uh, give you guys the resources that you guys need to go ahead and install this um, in a download link in the show more tab. Here we go. So as you notice, you can see the Mac OS X dock, uh, which is pretty common. Um, here's some gadgets that you guys have. Let's go ahead and delete this because that's not supposed to show up. Also, the finder bar right here, as you guys can all see. If you want, using the hotkeys, I would always recommend on your keyboard to press the Windows key. Um, that'll go ahead and get you to uh, the start menu. Or you can go ahead and press the Apple. I, I believe it still works on all computers by pressing the Apple or you have to press exactly on the Apple. So if you uh, look around, the start menu does have a very minimal look about Apple. If you go ahead and go to computer, you'll see that it has the icons, the icon cache. Um, it's all set up as you would expect. And if you go to the system properties, and uh, let's go ahead and maximize that, you'll see the mountain lion icon. You'll see some other stuff that is in relations to it. All right, and go to all control panels. You'll see that there are some icons that have Apple resemblance. If you go to the control panel, there you go, you have a lot more to it. Um, now, if you were to go ahead and right click on personalize and you get this set up, this window will come up. You will see your themes. There's about six of them Lion Basic, Lion Dark, Lion Full Glass, Lion Glass, Lion Inspirat, and Lion Lion. And Lion Dark, they're the more stable themes because if you choose the left side of the, of the exit, close, and minimize and restore up, you can go ahead and see that there is no other button that you can see that overlays on it and that's more of a stable theme yeah so all these themes will be installed on the mac os x mountain lion so if you guys want to go ahead and choose either one it doesn't really matter i'll go ahead and choose the lion dark it just has more of a, a darker theme on the explorer bars and it shouldn't take that long see there you go so go ahead and exit that so another thing that you guys want to go ahead and see is a finder it's based off of the Finder in Mac OS X. All you have to do is just click the folders that you guys want. And if you guys scroll down, you can see that the folders animate. All right, there you go. And also, I don't know what that is, but I'm sure it's pretty useful. Anyways, if we go back over here, we have all the icons usually. Uh, sticky notes and notepad, they don't work for some reason. There must be a bug. I'm still trying to work on it. I'll go ahead and give you guys an update if I ever find something. Over here in programs is where all the Mac OS X Lion uh, utilities are, um, what make up the Mac OS X Lion theme. Um, and there's an about information about uh, Hamad, or however you pronounce them. And uh, more or less, these are all the programs that uh, will make up the theme. So going on to the next, if you go to computer, there'll be a, a launch pad, which will uh, come up. Uh, another would be for the libraries, I believe, and some other ones right here. Also, if you go ahead and go to the programs and activate either X Launchpad or X Widget, with X Launchpad, if you move your mouse to the lower right, you'll go ahead and activate the Launchpad. With your arrow keys left or right, you can go ahead and select. And if you have a new folder, you can go ahead and click on it and that'll drop down and you can see your other little icons. So if you go to the left hand corner, you'll see your little other widgets, which is the X Widgets. Um, you can go ahead and customize these by pressing the plus sign and adding or minusing them away. You can always minus them away by right clicking on each icon and closing them. Uh, for right now, I just have uh, the icons right here that you hide. The iPhone 4S, the minimal clock, and I believe the uh, taskbar light bar. And that's basically it. All, and also the neon uh, time. Those are the ones I would recommend. The reason why I would recommend the ones that are on here because it looks kind of funky, the clock. Um, the weather, if you guys want to go ahead and keep that, you can go ahead. And uh, the drive system, um, 
information. I wouldn't really want that. And the reason why I wouldn't really want that is because I'm going to go ahead and show you something really, really quick. Like if when you get this setting set up, if you go ahead and double click on the desktop, you'll go ahead and see your drives come up. This would be due to the desk drive application that comes up. If I were to go ahead and unplug my drive, Win 8 USB would come out. If I were to go ahead and plug it back in, it will go ahead and pop back up just like Mac OS X does. So um, that's basically it for the whole theme uh, tour. If you guys wanna go ahead and stay tuned for any fixes that I've came across, and if you guys wanna go ahead and have it perfect just the way I had set it up, uh, go ahead and stay tuned. So here we go. So here's gonna be the troublemaking part of the Mac OS X Lion theme. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys one through 18 on the advisements that I go ahead and walk you through. So going ahead and opening the notes for Mountain Lion, I'll go ahead and show you. So number one, X widgets don't match the Mac OS X Lion. The reason why is because on the default theme, you can go ahead and see that the icons and the widgets are all blacked out and the theme is more or less a grayish color. So I wouldn't really recommend it. Uh, number two, the sticky notes don't work on the dock. Like I mentioned before, the sticky notes and the notepad does not work for two and three. Uh, you're going to click them, you're going to get an error that says Windows cannot find uh, C Windows system sticky note.exe. Regardless of what you do, it will not work. I've already tried. Um, the finder bar, it needs some tweaking. And the reason why I say that is because if you go ahead and open the finder bar for the first time and you have applications that are ta um, pinned to the taskbar or that are open in the taskbar, the finder bar is going to go ahead and overlay itself on top of them and it's going to have this effect on it. Go ahead and open the program and I'll show you what I mean. So go ahead and press finder bar and what's going to happen is it's going to go ahead and overlay itself. Sometimes it will. If it doesn't then you're good. You're one of the lucky ones. If it does I would go ahead and recommend you either skin it, pressing suspend, then skin it or reload. And that should usually fix the problem. Just go ahead and tweak on it. That's what I mean by tweaking. Uh, the start orb needs uh, a bit of changing. I don't think it comes stocked and uh, defaulted with Apple logo. I have a resource for that. So go ahead and go into the resources folder that I have for you. And go ahead and press restore before you do anything. Then go ahead and choose your Apple bitmap. And then you should be good. Now, another option that I would go ahead and recommend you guys do is with the left sider, um, it's a bit glitchy. And what I mean by a bit glitchy, the little icons that overlay each other, it will only work if you have the lion or the dark lion theme in fixed up and applied. Uh, the logon screen needs to be changed. And the reason why I say that is because if you really wanna go ahead and have the full effect of Mac OS X, you're gonna have to have the Mac OS X lion theme instead of the Windows 7 theme. And to go ahead and show you guys what I mean, if you guys go back into my last channel uh, video, I have a video on how to go ahead and change the, the log on screen. So number eight would be the Doc Internet Explorer. That needs some changing. It gets defaulted at skinpacks.com. You wanna go ahead and right click on icon settings. Under the arguments when it comes up right here, you want to go ahead and change that to your site of your choice. I'll go ahead and put google.com and then I'll go ahead and press OK. And then you should have that fixed instead of having that oncoming. So the wallpaper pack for the logon screen, I already have one for you guys. I'll go ahead and add a couple more. Um, the dock lane settings, uh, it needs to be fixed. And what I mean by that is the fact that every time I open a Internet Explorer, window or this window right here the dock is always overlaying on each other so what I would recommend is right clicking on the dock settings or clicking on that right there and under style or position I would go ahead and recommend you pressing normal pressing OK and then you should have a good set of a maximized window alright so uh, resorting Explorer if this ever happens, if you have a program that does that, Resetting Explorer uh, will remove the Apple icon and the Finder menu. I've noticed that. So you might want to go ahead and reapply those. Hopefully that's not much of a hassle to you guys to do that. And hopefully you guys don't restart the Explorer so often. Uh, the 12, uh, it has a screensaver um, that's automatically saved um, and defaulted uh, 
under a one minute activation and it's called Flurry. And if you take a look at the screensaver by right clicking on Personalize, clicking on Screensaver, you can go ahead and take a preview of the screensaver. If you don't want it, you can go ahead and click None, then press Apply or something else that you wanted. Number 13 would be Desktop Fast. It uses an alternative option for accessing your files that are out of view. And what I mean by that also is if you click on Desktop Fast, all of a sudden you're taken to your applications or your hidden icons and or folders or programs. Go ahead and do that as an alternative or if you have X widgets on, you can go ahead and double click the desktop and they'll disappear or they will reappear just like that. So number 14, WinRoll, is a substitute for the taskbar, uh, minimizing your programs and or windows by right clicking the top bar. And I've been doing that for quite a while already right now. So if you were to go ahead and click on the top bar right here, right clicking on it, it'll go ahead and minimize it. It's more or less an alternative. And I'll go ahead and show you a common alternative for Windows. Okay, so number 15, X widget, menu settings, hotkey, hiding, corner activation, double click, show hide desktop icons. I'm gonna go ahead and go through those with you. Uh, and the only way you can go ahead and navigate through that is clicking on one of the widgets or going down to the bottom right and clicking plus, I believe, and you can go ahead and press edit. Or I take that back. Just go ahead and right click on one of the icons or the widgets, go under window, go under widget menu, and go under options. And so with my file right here, that win roll might get a little bit confusing for you guys. So if you guys want, just go ahead and either minimize it or whatnot. It usually goes down onto the dock and minimizes. So win roll, um, the menu settings, you can have a variety of menu settings. Um, you can either have it auto run. You can double click on desktop to hide and show desktop icons to get to the, your desktop icons faster. You can auto hide desktop icons when it starts. The hotkeys, depending on what you have taken up, the hotkeys can be anywhere from F12, double click control key, double click alt key, depending on your choice. Uh, mouse screen uh, bottom left corner to go ahead and activate your widgets, the ones that are hidden or the ones that are not and also some other options, auto hide system taskbar and yada, yada, yada. So that's one option. Okay, so number 16, startup folder for Mac utilities. Now there's gonna be some utilities for the Mac OS X that will not start up like left sider, win row, and some other ones. In order for you guys to go ahead and navigate to these two folders to go ahead and put them into the startup, you want to go ahead and do is open up two Explorer um, windows and go ahead and press on computer and then paste it in and then press enter on your keyboard and then you'll be taken to a location. This is where the startup programs will go ahead and launch before your computer boots or while your computer boots. To go ahead and open another Explorer bar you want to go ahead and right click on computer, open in new window. This will go ahead and come up. Okay, so back on to the Mac Utilities location, the ones that might not start up. You want to go ahead and copy that. I'll go ahead and leave it in the info bar. All right, you want to go ahead and click on the next Explorer window. Click paste, press return. And there you got it. All these are the ones that are not set to auto start. I would recommend deleting this skin pack menu because that is going to be auto starting all the time. If you want, go to your start menu and go to all programs and down in the folders icon, you want to go under startup and then you want to go ahead and right click on skin pack menu because it will get irritating over time and just press delete and it will not start up. Uh, so the ones that you see that are going to start up, leave those alone. Go ahead and uh, right click, copy, then right click, and then paste. And that goes the same thing with each one. Just say for example, desk drive, you wanna go ahead and right click, copy, then right click, paste. So you get my point. All right, let's go ahead and move on. Uh, number 17, use the Windows hotkeys to navigate to Windows uh, programs or windows. Uh, so you can either do the win tab on your keyboard, win then tab, 
and you can go ahead and see any other application that's open and you can navigate to it and then when or alt tab press alt then tab and you can see your other windows like that just in case you don't have area on and uh, 17 actually 18 which is the last one desk drive will show and hide connected drives and I think I mentioned that before but if you guys want to go ahead and see it again I'll go ahead and show you so if I were to go ahead and unplug this it'll disappear and then re-plug it it'll go ahead and appear and in order for it to show up at the exact spot that you want you have to go to the taskbar on disk drive right click settings then go ahead and click on remember icon positions then press OK and then you should have it alright so that's a tutorial overview and advisement that I have for you guys. If you guys have any questions, leave your comments down below. I'll go ahead and answer them as soon as I can. And when I have time, besides anything else, take a chance in a second to go ahead and like by pressing thumbs up. Go ahead and share this video via Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Comment if you, if you want to voice your thoughts or if you need help. Subscribe for more videos like this. And enjoy the Mac OS X Mountain Lion theme pack for Windows 7. And... Uh, as always, take care.